I'm on the box hotter. This is going to be a very special video. Um, this is by request. I've had a lot of people over the years uh, ask if, they, if I would do a room tour. Um, and just here recently, I had a few people in my DM say, Hey man, we love your collection. We love your videos on YouTube. Why don't you, why don't you do us, show us a room tour? And I've seen a lot of uh, horror collectors uh, that's on YouTube do a lot of these. So I feel like, uh, why not do it? I mean, I think I think my 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 room is pretty much the way I want it other than the dust. Don't mind the dust when we go through with this. So let's start this room tour. I'll start off on this side and just work my way around. I'll try to keep it low and short, but uh, let's get into it. All right, we'll start off with my Jaws collection. As you can see, it's a majority of Funko Pops. I have a love-hate relationship with these things um, just because they take up so much room, but I love Funko how they dedicate uh, the vinyls to, to movies, um, and they do a pretty good job at it. Um, it, it's almost, the box is almost worth more than the actual vinyl figure. <laughs> People lose their minds if they got a messed up box, and it's understandable as a collector. But let's, let's start moving around. This is my Jaws. I had to have every one of the Jaws pops. We'll go on to this way. This is my lunch box, and as you can see, the love, uh, frame with Bruce in it. Um, the lunch box and the frame is one of many of the items that I got out of, uh, don't eat the gum. So if you're not aware of Don't Eat the Gum, go check them out. Uh, Kenny does an awesome job at fulfilling your needs with horror or anything like that. So go check out Don't Eat the Gum. I believe it's don'teatthegum.com. Don't quote me on it. I may just leave a link in this video. But let's move it on around. And this one here. My buddy Chris surprised me with this. Um, this is JSA certified signed by Susan uh, Balani. I think I'm messing that name up. But she was the first victim in the movie uh, Jaws. So let's move on over. We'll move on up. I'm sorry. This here is a uh, mask of Bruce from the movie Jaws, obviously. And it is signed, if you look closely, it is signed by Richard Dreyfus. It is Beckett uh, certified. Um, I got this a few years back from ShopZobie.com. Um, I tried to mount it like a deer head. I put the put the bagging, I stuffed it, and then if you look closely, I actually put uh, like a plate in the back, and it's mounted up. So I tried to make it look like a deer head. I thought it turned out pretty cool. We'll go on. We'll go on down. And Jonathan Breck signed "Be Be Eating You." Um, I got this out of a fright pack, I believe, last year, and then there is. Um, the weapon made from human teeth and bone. Dark Dark Matter Props did a good job when they did that prop. Shout out to Dark Matter Props. Um, it's the Jeepers Creepers weapon, we all know. The only Jeepers Creepers that I really enjoyed was probably the first one and maybe the second one. Um, any ones after that sucked. And if you look closely, this is a uh, Val Kilmer signed um, Jim Morrison from The Doors. I was kind of skeptical on this when I got it. Uh, I think I got this like two or three years ago. Um, later, further investigation found out it wasn't legit, but I just wasn't too sure of the, the COA. Um, I may end up getting rid of that one. I don't know yet. Because the one I've got, I got from uh, Zobi, and it, it's a better print. And it's JSA certified. I think it is. It might be Beckett. I don't remember. Anyway, let's move it on. And then there's the uh chad i can't remember his name he's an artist did that for us for zobi um did the chrome uh michael myers the old and new version so i thought it was pretty cool it's, it's one of the one of the uh rare uh art prints that i have actually hanging up in my office so because it's cool i may be switching it out i might put my pumpkin head one in there yep i might just be putting my pumpkin head one in there now we're talking about it. <laughs> let's move it on this here is a custom autograph from Ken Kinniger. My father-in-law hooked me up. Um, I couldn't make it to this one here. This was in Atrox in Alabama. Um, so he had that customized for me. It says, to Aldi, see you at camp. Ken Kinniger. Um, Freddy vs. Jason. Awesome. Let's move it on over. So this piece has a lot of sentimental value to me. Um, my father actually gave this to me. Um, it's signed by Johnny Unitas, Mr. Quarterback. He played for the Baltimore Colts in 1956 to 1972. Um, 
this is pretty much the reason why I've pretty much gotten into autographs was because of this autograph right here. Um, this autograph has been so many places. As you can see, the, the white mat is, you know, looks like it's nicotine stained. But it doesn't matter to me. The value is more in the sentimental than the actual value of, of what it's worth. I will never get rid of this. I'll probably pass this on to my son. But it's got a lot of sentimental value to it. And this is what got me into collecting. So shout out to my dad for hooking me up with that. And the Jim Morrison and the Doors poster. If you haven't found out yet, I'm a huge Jim Morrison, the Doors fan. Um, we'll go on down here. I got this piece from a couple of friends of mine came together and got this for me. If you look closely, it's signed by Bill Johnson, uh, Tom Savini, and uh, Bill Mosley, I believe. Uh, Chop Top. I like it. It's the movie movie poster from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, shout out to you guys for hooking me up. Sean, Katie, and all of them. I think Dale. I can't remember. <clears throat> uh, another one of my prize and my prized possessions um, is a JSA certified uh, Peter Weller. Um, I got that a couple years back. I freaking love uh, that piece. It's an awesome piece of mine. And then another awesome piece. If, if they're if they're in custom frames, you know I enjoy them. Well, I enjoy all of them, but you know it it really means a lot to me that I really want to display it. Um, Beavis and Butthead. I love Beavis and Butthead growing up. I had to have a Mike Judge autograph JSA. Um, as soon as you walk in the office, this is the first three that you see. Uh, let's move it on around. And I just recently picked this one up for Dirt Cheap. JSA certified. It's Cheech and Chong. Um, it's signed by Cheech Marin and Thomas Chong. JSA certified. And we'll go on down. You see my face hugger I got from Dale Morgan in a trade. That is from Abo I think it's A Box. And then I've got my Nostromo and all my alien stuff. And then we'll come on down to this cabinet here. Um, shout out to Last Customs. I'm sorry, Last Chance Customs. Brian did a good job. Brian is just recovering from a life threatening uh, flesh eating bacteria bacteria. So shout out to Brian for, for making it through and pushing on to make awesome customs. I'm glad he made it. Such a good dude. And then this cabinet is just full of other autographs. There's my corn from Children of the Corn. Uh, Franklin played Isaacs. Um, we got Will Satin. I've got Nick Castle. I have my custom Necronomicon I made. And then you, you'll see some seal resin figures from some Fright. Uh, crates, more fright crates, uh, seal resin figures, and then I've got my my John Caster uh, Tales from the Crypt signed skull. Let me see if I can back away. And as you can see, I have a lot of other stuff in there. Just a bunch of whatnots and figures, some autographs. I got some Crystal Lake water, some crystal. Uh, I'm sorry, the cabin from the Crystal Lake um, shavings. We'll go up top. Let's see, I got a G.I. Joe MP. I got that dirt cheap at a flea market. Still new in the box, no damage. Then there's Lucille in the back. I got her free out of a, uh, I believe it was the collector's case. I won a giveaway. And there's my prop replica of the axe from The Shining. And we'll move on down. Sean Young from Ace Ventura. She played Reinhorn's Finkel, Finkel Reinhorn. Laces out Dan. Jerry Rice I got from a Zobi Sports Mystery Box. And most most of my items are gonna be from some from Zobi. Um because obviously we all know why. Uh but yeah, that's that's my Kevin Conroy, my Warren Lester, JSA signed Batmobile, some more Cheech and Chong. I'm a huge Halloween uh, 3 fan. As you can see, I am missing, back away, I'm missing the pumpkin. I will soon have that on my wall. Um, this here was a custom by the Eskimo. Shout out to the Eskimo. Go check his work out. He does a good job. And I got this at, well, I think it was like Celebrity Con. I can't remember. It was in Texas. I can't remember what it was called. But I paid a pretty penny for that. Um, 
it was worth it. I like it. It's got, as you can see, John Casser, Kane Hodder, uh, Tyler Main. I forgot that. I can't pronounce that dude. I, I don't. The dude that played freaking uh, American Werewolf in London. I can't remember. It's been a while. And then I've got my Miko Hughes. Come down and there's my Chevy Chase. Uh, nothing but trouble. JSA certified. I got that from shopzoe.com. That is metallic print. Freaking love that piece. We're moving on over. There's Tim Curry. I also got that one at that Texas uh, Celebrity Con. God, I think it was Celebrity Con. I can't remember. But it is signed by Tim Curry. The COA is on the back. Uh, another awesome piece. Clive Barker and signed by all the Cinebites. JSA certified. I did get that one from shopzoe.com. And then I actually made this frame here. Um, I made the wood. I put the little stalks on it. And I painted it. Put a blood handprint with the newspaper clipping. I took some uh, some paper and I balled it up and I stained it. But I got a Tom Morga mask, a Derek Mears hatchet, and the Kane Hodder uh, machete. And then there's another um, King Kinsinger, Bob Elmore from uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now let's step away. This here is a, a gift I got from my wife. She surprised me. Um, I freaking love this thing. I get a lot of people ask about this thing. Um, I just recently put some flashing LEDs in the back. Um, I could change the color by remote. Um, so I, I freaking love this piece. It is it's funny. And then well, I'm a huge The Shining fan. Um, a good friend of mine, uh, the owner of of Zobi hooked me up with this. They did a signing with Shelly Duvall, bless her heart, um, and she customized this item for me. It says, um, hi Audie, best wishes from Wendy Torrance. I even had the custom frame. Well, he had the custom frame for me. Um, Shelly Duvall, The Shining. That That's probably one of my, my favorite pieces, custom pieces to me. Um, but I thought that I thought that was pretty cool of, of, of JR to hook me up with that. And Happy Death Day. Got that out of a fright pack. And then Danny Lloyd, um, Katie, and a few others came together and hooked me up with that. Um, uh, we all know Danny Lloyd played Danny from uh, The Shining, JSA certified. My two my two favorite pieces. And then here's some more Last Chance Customs. I'm a huge Halloween 3 fan, obviously. The Shining. And then I got Sleepaway Camp. He threw that one in for me. I've got her covered up because I've got kids that are in and out of this office. And I can't have figures with little penises hanging around. <laughs> and then I got this custom frame off of eBay for dirt cheap. Um, it's not really signed by Stephen King. Um, and Jack Nicholson. This is replica, but I thought it was pretty cool. It is the script from the movie. Um, what's funny is I'll watch the movie and I'll read that thing as it goes along. My Gunnar Hansen, um, God, you know, God rest his soul. Um, PSA DNA custom frame, and then another Bill Johnson. Uh, Father-in-law hooked me up with this one at Atrox. I didn't make it to that. That's Miss Foster. Um, I'll move it on around. Chris again hooked me up. Um, met him at a con. We all know that's from the Predator. There's some more pops. Pee Wee Pop. Shout out to Josh for hooking me up with that. And then this is where all the magic happens with my video edits. Um, the videos I do for Zobi and my YouTube. Um, I'll show you this here. This is my unboxing table. Uh, this is where I do all my Zobi meetings and podcastings with Zobi. Um, shout out to Zobi uh, for hooking me up with that. That's all business related there. That's how Daddy gets down. We'll move it on over. Uh, Billy West, JSA, custom frame I did myself. Um, pretty cool. Kevin Eastman, I got that one out of a Zobi box. And there's Stanton, that's uh, Brett from Alien. And here is some more 
This is Eagle Moss figures. I freaking love these figures. Um, this is my alien collection. Shout out to Darren for hooking me up with the carry um, hen as Newt. That is freaking cool of him. And then I met Michael Bean at one of a con. I think it was in Louisiana. Cajun con or something like that. And then here's just a shelf of some whatnots, Funko Pops, some cereal resin. Um, this bad boy is uh, worth a lot of money, apparently. I picked this up from like a little mom and pop shop. Dude hooked me up. I got a good deal on that. I can't remember when the brand made that, but apparently these are rare. I oh, thought it was pretty cool. And then there's the best Jason there is, is CJ Graham, NECA. Um, I have Pumpkinhead, Halloween 3. These are just my whatnots. Some Cabin 13 customs uh, items back here. Go check out Cabin 13. Pretty neat. And here are my Funko Pops, my signed ones. Um, CJ Graham, Derek Mears, Nick Castle, Doug Bradley, Tom Morga, Kevin Eastman, Gatton, um, Old Georgie. <laughs> Uh, there's my Lost Boy. Sorry for the glare. There's my, there I have another Robocop. A uh, good friend of mine hooked me up with that. <laughs> and then there's my Ted, my, not my Ted, what was it, Ted Bundy. Al Bundy, Ed O'Neill. That bad boy was not cheap. But I had to have it. But that is my, all my pops. Just do a quick run through of the room as you can see my my collection from this standpoint Halloween 3 mask love them and oh yeah if you don't know who Joey Columbine is good buddy of mine he's like a brother to me um it's Darren him and his new band are killing it um go check them out it's Relic um you can look him up on Facebook or follow him He's about to be cutting a, uh, an album soon and a documentary. Um, sentimental. That that print is very sentimental to me. I need to get it in a custom frame. But all these are like military coins that I have. I've got some Florida State stuff. I've got a trader over here. Um, Jimbo Fisher. Can't believe he did what he did. <laughs> Ghostbusters. A Terminator car. Um, there's a football helmet, Ari Lehman. I'm going to get all of them to sign it from CJ Graham to Ken to Kane Hodder eventually. Renee, Renee Quigley, Quigley signed thongs. She got, she sent me those a few years back. And then I have my, uh, Val Kilmer. That's my custom frame I did that is Beckett certified. Um, it is a signed, uh, pistol, toy pistol. This is my, my professional um, shelf here. <laughs> I need to dust, so don't judge me. But there you go. That's basically my office of all my collection. Not it's it's a small office, I know. I actually have more in my closet, more autographs. I got them all put away because I just don't have anywhere um, to put them. Freaking love that thing. That thing is, oh man, my wife did a good job. But this is this is it. But that's it. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Um, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Um, let me know what your favorite piece is out of my collection. Um, I tried to keep this low, but this thing is long, and I apologize. But it's. I hope it's well worth it. Um, but that's it. So all the ones that's been asking for a room tour, well, there you have it. Um, I have a huge collection. I got a closet over there that has so much more in it, but I just have no room. Um, I have some awesome pieces I'd love to show, but it would cover the whole floor. It's just ridiculous. I think I have a problem. <laughs> but that's it. If you're not a subscriber and this is your first time watching this, hit that subscribe. Give me hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and tell me what you think but that's it i'm out of the box order until next time i'm out